Brick Maniacs. It's time for another episode of Brick Mania TV. Flying over the water. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. This is the Jayhawk, right? Yes. This is the MH60T awesome. Jayhawk. Tell us about the history. Not even history. This thing's being used right now, isn't it? It is. This is uh, current. This is a current uh, U.S. Coast Guard medium range search and rescue helicopter. Right. Uh, it's based loosely on the. Um, the. with the UH 60 uh, Blackhawk. Right. So, but then. Uh, it's a different version. The, uh, the the Navy got their own version. It was slightly different from the, the original Army version. And then the Coast Guard derived this. Originally, it was the um, HH-60J, I believe. And then they upgraded it with all new avionics. And now it's the, uh, currently, the current nomenclature is the MH-60T, um, which basically there's 42 of these helicopters in existence. Existent. Some of the really the fancy advanced features, the reason why this is the, such an advanced search and rescue helicopter. Crazy radar up here in the front. Right. There's a FLIR, that's just a forward looking uh, infrared, basically a camera on, uh, located underneath it. This crazy thing called the Tracker Beam. Tracker Beam. Look this up, it's a Tracker Beam A800. <laughs> Super advanced, multi lens, multi filter searchlight. Track of Beam A800. Right, and I'm not even a paid spokesman, but I did look up. I did look it up. So I was like, "What the heck is?" It's an that awesome thing? name. Yeah, the Track of Beam. Not to be confused with the Tractor Beam. It's a Track of Beam. Track of Beam. It's not yeah. quite as good as a Tractor Beam. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can't like pluck people out of the water with your Track of Beam, but you can sort of, you can sort of find them. It's kind of like a misleading name. Like, at, at first you think it could actually pull somebody. Out, you, you know, it has something to do with the company. <laughs> it has nothing to do with what it does. <laughs> Tangent. Anyway. Right. 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 So we have this helicopter. So this is this is basically um, we've done similar helicopters mm -hmm. in the past. So upgraded this, uh, updated it for the um, United States Coast Guard. Right. We've never done a Coast Guard kit before. Right. And it looks freaking awesome. Yeah. Right. Last last summer or last spring, I was over, I was in I was in Clearwater, Florida, visiting the in-laws, and these things kept flying over the house all day long. And I was like, this is the perfect replacement <laughs> for the uh, the Pavehawk, which we can no longer do. So right. It's, it's very similar. Um, but the different colors and how we can do right. it again. So. There were some just incredibly limited pieces for that. Right, we, we exhausted the, the, the Pavehawk we did was so popular that we actually exhausted the world supplies, a couple of crucial pieces. Right, doing now this kids. is a whole new color scheme so we can... Right, and it did some minor changes too. I mean, it's not just, it, the actual model itself is, is, it has some of the same cool features of mm -hmm. the previous Blackhawks and the Pavehawk that we did. Um, you could still, if you wanted to, put your own motor in it. It's still geared up, has the same gearbox. Um, you have to put that inside, but um, should we just go over the features of Let's it? Let's do it, yeah. So yeah, so, so this this is a really, uh, it's, it's a pretty cool model. And just one thing that's different from the previous uh, versions of this, uh, I guess yes. it's the Korsky uh, the 7, 70 series helicopter. Um, you actually can take the roof off right, of it. Look at that. Relatively easy, access the crew compartment. So uh, inside you have seats, you basically have the seats for the pilot and the co-pilot. Um, you have, uh, the gunners, basically the, this little known secret, is a search and rescue helicopter. They can do drug interdiction mm -hmm. uh, work with this helicopter too. So they do have, um, in this case, uh, it's, a, it's a squad automatic, no it's not, it's, not, it's, a, it's a M240. Yeah, this is, is this debuting in this kit here? Right, that is, that is something else. This is, the, actually, we can zoom in on it here right we go, here. Yeah, we got one of the guys holding it. So Brick Arms actually made us an M240B, which is the uh, M240, uh, Basically, machine gun. It's a right. full-on, full, full-size machine gun. The uh, M240B has the rifle stock, and you, in this case, it has an ammo can. I, right. I believe in the uh, when they're when they're carrying these things in the field, it would have like an under under uh, um, under gun magazine, like a, the the usual uh, F and N magazine. But this this case, it's a it's ammo box, larger capacity. Uh, we also have in here. It's on the, attached on the wall. You have the uh, guy 50 that. caliber sniper rifle. Yeah. Let's get the guy holding that. Bam. So you get one of each. You get one of the back to back the, right the, here. The, basically, the 50 caliber s sniper rifle, and you have the uh, M240. Um, you can go look it up on on uh, on YouTube. They have all kinds of videos of these things right. doing drug interdictions. This isn't the only uh, Coast Guard helicopter that does it, but right. I figured since it is a feature of this helicopter, we get these weapons. Right. I believe this is the world debut of this M240B. 
So if you remember the Chinook last year with the M240D, which is the gun, the same gun but with the spade grips, because you know the Air Force has to, right. they have to have their own special <laughs> special uh, special weapons. How do they how do they actually use these weapons when they're out in a mission or something? Well, I I think the protocol would be like uh, if they're doing a drug interdiction, like basically drug smugglers would be heading towards the coast in the speedboat. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys interdict interdict them by flying over them, giving them warning. They ignore the warning. They'll shoot across the bow with the uh, with the M240, uh, a couple of series of warning shots, and if that still doesn't deter them, then they'll pull out the 50 cal uh, and shoot, the, basically take out the engine of right. the, um, the the smugglers. Right there we so go. Stop in the water. It's it's. There's lots of videos. Like I said, go onto YouTube. You can see all the stuff in action. Awesome. So. Cool. So yes, those those are included with the kit. Right. Um, yeah. So I really love how this top comes off. Actually. Yeah, it's it's actually quite cool. It's a cool play yeah. feature there. Yeah, it's, it, it doesn't always come off perfectly. Sometimes you take the windshield like off with it, yeah, <laughs> right? You can rebuild it. Um, just like the uh, the Payfock, you can uh, fold up the rotor blades. Just so they, these are used on Coast Guard. So it's kind of like uh, a stowage mode. Yeah. yeah, so like they can go in hangers. So they basically you can you can fold the blades up, and this is exactly how they would fold in, in right. real life. And also as well, so you do have this moving horizontal stabilizer, but they fold up too. Check that out. Um, and you know, actually, before we do that, we can actually pull off the rotor blade here. It's kind of hard because I'm on the back side. Flip it around. So the whole thing has to be able to fit inside of a helicopter hangar. Fold these up, and then look at that. That even folds. That's awesome. So that's how it would be in the real life. They yeah. they tie all this stuff down so it doesn't bounce around. But sort of a top view here. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so configuration. Fold it up. Yeah. And one thing that's kind of cool is this has a different tail wheel. So the 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 navy and the uh, um, the coast guard have to be able to turn this thing and move it around in a small confined space like a hangar of a ship. Right. So they actually and have the tail wheel relocated, so you can actually roll it around. It's just kind of neat. It's cool. So you do have a winch. Does come with a winch. One of the other kind of cool features of this, we Here's we went all right out. Here. We made like the crazy crazy huge sticker pack. Yes. So if you notice on this one, do we have one of those sticker packs here? We do not. Just tr <laughs> trust okay. me. Trust me. Yeah. I, Are they I all packed got, up right now? They're they're in the, actually yeah they're putting up. these together. I'm not even sure if the stickers have been been printed. They probably cool. have. Um, obviously they've been printed. We we have a test set here, but I don't know where they are in the process. They're packing these things up today. Um, you'll see. Notice it says Clearwater. Mm -hmm. It also has the sticker, which is basically the Florida. So bas basically, there's nine different uh, locations that we could find that these things were based out of. And we put all nine locations in the sticker pack. So you have the tail number. So you have the six, 6027. Mm -hmm. There's actually a matching 27 up here over the, the cockpit. Um, these are actual uh, numbers. We, right. we, we did a lot of research on this one. So this was an actual helicopter, the tail number from Clearwater, Florida. The, the rondel on there, that's, that's actually from the Clearwater base. Mm -hmm. That's on all the helicopters they have. Uh, we did it for nine different locations. So every place that these are stationed at, you have the option of putting your home, uh, your home, right. uh, or your closest Coast Guard station, or maybe if you're, if you're serving, you can put your own in there. Yeah. Uh, that, was, that was cool, like watching you do the research, you actually got in contact with somebody from one of the bases. Right, we didn't even, the Clearwater one, for, in fact, we couldn't get a decent, uh, um, I couldn't get one online. I couldn't find a, a logo. So somebody from down in Florida took a picture of, of the actual <laughs> helicopter and we were able to make the, the rondelle from that. So, so it's based off of like first-hand photo. Yeah, whoever did cool. that sent it to me through, <laughs> through Facebook. I appreciate it because that yeah. actually helped us. That was the last one we were missing. So I think there's a couple, one that we couldn't find at all, uh, an example. I, I don't remember which, which city it was. That, yeah. Um, it did have their own, but... Uh, and different helicopters have different configurations. Right, there is a version of this. There's a 100-year anniversary of uh, Centennial of Coast Guard Aviation that's actually all yellow. Right. So there's only a few of those out there. There's only actually 42 of these helicopters in existence. Which is funny, because we made more helicopters. We've actually we've made more, yeah, we've, we've made more for this yeah. batch than there are. So. Than there are in actual existence. So yeah, this is this is quite, <laughs> quite the model. Um, I can put these, lock these these blades back out. Yeah, and that's just held down by a little grill tile. Oh yeah, that's super easy to take on and off. Yeah. Um, this this is a fairly sturdy model. You could swoosh it, no problem. You could pick it up by the tail. It's you know, if anybody's a, if you have a, a previous owner of one of my Black Hawks or the Pave Hawk, you'll know that it's it's, that. it's plenty fun to play with. You can you can you can do all kinds of. It'll that's take like all beyond, kinds of battle damage. That's beyond the swooshable protocol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can run around. And I, where people if you can pick up the helicopter by reg the tail. Regularly seen me running around the, the, the <laughs> office playing playing a helicopter. Yep. You can throw a motor in here. It actually uh, used just a rubber 
a Lego motor with a like one of the Lego rubber belts, pulley belts. Cool. And it's pretty cool because it'll, it'll, when using a belt, it'll actually slowly accelerate. I should have done that for the, for the demonstration model. If you've seen any of our uh, uh, the Stealth Black Hawk, we've demonstrated this many times in the past. But, cool. Uh, it's actually out on YouTube. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, what else? Talk about uh, figures? Yeah, absolutely. So, obviously, you saw those when we were showing off the brick arms there. Um, we have front and back printing on these guys. So, and there are four crewmen in the helicopter. Yes, four crewmen. And uh, elbow, you can just see different elbow patches printed there. Um, and this is just a, like a flight harness and then like a survival vest. Right, and we made all four guys identical. We're yeah. trying, to, trying to save money. We, we, <laughs> this is already a huge kit. We wanted to, yeah. to, to not go well, totally overboard. Right. Um, you know, it's really hard when you start getting into, into kits that are this detailed. And like, well, I really want to make, put all the details on, but we have to, right. like, we have to hold back some places. So. Uh, the four guys, you could actually go and put your own heads on them, whatever. Right. We, we made it as simple as possible. Lego actually, so there is a, um, all the uniforms are very similar. The, the diving, the, the, the guy that actually jumps out of the helicopter, his uniform is slightly different. Um, Lego actually makes that as a so, minifigure. Yeah, that's, so that's cool. So, so if you have that, this would work perfectly with this set. Right, right. So and may, you know maybe someday we'll make more advanced yeah. versions. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're not gonna don't don't hold us to that. This is our this is our first go into into this realm. The U.S. So. Coast Guard. Yeah, Absolutely. it is. It is cool. Uh, we should also mention those helmets. There, those are from Minifig Cat. Yep. So give them a, cool give them a shout out. Cool flight so they helmets. They are the flight helmets. They do have a little visor that that. I don't know if you can see that visor. Them. There's a side little lever that you can push the. the it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> it's very hard to do. Big grown-up hands. There we go. So it's hard to and the, the lens pops down like that. So. Yeah, kind of neat. That is cool. <laughs> and then also, so this is the helicopter. We also just uh, kind of going with the Side coast guard note here. We are. We did. I guess we we we've, we've dubbed them petty officers. I don't right. know if they are, but um, we have two coast guard, mm -hmm. uh, just standard dark blue uniform. Right. I don't know what they're called, but we we wanted we wanted to make a. a a standard Coast Guard. We have male and female right. versions. And we got the cool uh, custom printed baseball cap there. There. Yeah, that was hard to do, wasn't it? Yeah. It's really it, printing. Printing. That's a weird surface there. to print on. So. That's yeah, way in the bill there. <laughs> uh, our printers do an amazing job. Mm -hmm. so. so. That. So that's the standalone figures uh, that would complement this kit very well. Right. Um, it's Coast Guard week here. Absolutely. At, at Brick Mania. <laughs> Any other notes on this or? No, on. it's available now. Um, we've been able to put together a batch of a hundred of these. Okay. Um, I imagine they'll go quickly. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've never done anything quite like this. So. Yeah, and the sticker, the sticker pack in and of itself is just—it's—it's—it's it's, it's amazing. So again, you get the helicopter, and you get the stickers to make uh, one of nine, or you can use your own pieces and make actually sure. uh, different different helicopters. Although you know, the certain things like these, the, the rondelles and stuff, you're only going to get enough to make two. Sure. So you have to buy another kit, sorry. <laughs> to get another <laughs> sticker. <pack>. <laughs> well, <laughs> then you can use the pieces and make another. Right, there yeah. we go. So there's a, is there a sale going on right now? Is there, what's going on right now? Shipping stuff? Yep, free shipping. Yes. So when you buy this, you'll get free shipping um, to most destinations, well, the US uh, for sure, and then most international destinations will be able to get the free shipping option, uh, provided we can get you there, get it there quickly and uh, cheaply. Quickly, cheaply, affordably, and safely. Yeah. And safely. Things. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, with that, that is the episode of Brickmania TV, and this is the awesome Jayhawk, super cool kit. Um, for more information on this kit and these figures, check out Brickmania.com. Thank you very much for watching.